Alright, I'm um, coming at you with another budget deck tech. Um, this one actually was made by my friend who I, uh, I play test with a lot. And um, <clears throat> he badly wanted to go with a uh, black white vampires list, which he made of his own. Um, it's not fully vampires, like, it doesn't have, like, cartel or aristocrat in it. You know, but, uh, he has. You know, he runs the Knights instead, so we'll get into it. Alright, so we have three Knight of Infamy, which, uh, of course, works really good with your vampires, especially uh, Nighthawk, beef it up, gain more life. That's always good. Knight of Glory will do the same. And then uh, he runs a playset of High Priest of Penance. You know, that gay two drop that when it dies, it, uh, when it's dealt damage, you destroy a non land permanent. Yeah. So, um, also, of course, four vampire night hawks. Um, he wanted to make this black, red, white, so that he could have the, uh, so he could have Olivia in here. And that didn't happen. But, uh, so he runs the four Bloodline Keepers, which is really awesome, you know. Making two twos with flying, and then flip it, turn it to a five five that gives all vampires plus two plus two. Works really, really well with, uh, <coughs> uh, Soren. And then just the pressure card, you know, Desecration Demon runs three of those. This is. This is a really, really good card around my circles. Like, you know, it's, it's four drops, six, six, flying. That's that's insane. And then you're beefing it up while destroying your own creatures. I know, I know, it has like a somewhat of a drawback to where it can screw you over, but a lot of times it puts a lot of pressure on people. And it's all a card game of trading cards back and forth. So a lot of people will use their removal on this card. You know, it comes out fourth turn. That's that's a lot of pressure for turn four. Alright, we'll get into the removal. He has a uh, three tragic slips. You know, high priest dies, destroy something, then tragic slip. Pretty pretty nice. And then his uh tribute to hunger. He runs that main board, three of them. Likes to gain some, some more health. He's he really likes the life gain. Like he, he likes life gain a lot. And then we got uh, just too much, just four O-rings, really. And my Dross Messengers always get this. And uh, two Sorens, one of them's a proxy. And uh, it's the cool one from the box, from the, the duels. But uh, yeah, that, make your tokens. You know, uh, I have suggestions for the deck, uh, but it's, it's his original build, and I'm, I'm not going to worry about touching on it. Some people are picky about that. Um, he runs four Orzhov Guildgates. He's a budget guy like, like myself. Um, actually, he could afford, actually, he has a job and could afford to buy shit, but he tends not to. Uh, I don't know why. Right now, he just doesn't have a ride. But four of those, and then it's just basic lands after that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven swamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, hold on. Eight planes, sorry. Um, sometimes the mana situation in this deck kind of gets screwed. I wouldn't run like. If, if you also had the problem with getting dual ends, um, I would suggest throwing four Evolving Wilds in here to take place as, like, it's almost like having eight Guild Gates. You know, at least Evolving Wilds, like, fixes your mana. Because sometimes you end up drawing all white or all black on here, which, which sucks. But, uh, it works pretty good, all these flyers, you know, and beef them up with the knights, with the exalted knights, you know, it really works good. Um, it's a budget deck, 
It ain't gonna cost you much. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll make some more soon.